Hey everybody, my name is Lee Rath, and we are back with the second episode of the Slime Rancher 5 Day Challenge in which we see how much money we can make in the course of 5 days in Slime Rancher. Uh, if you want to know more about why I'm doing this or why it's relevant, uh, make sure you check out the first episode. I will put a link in the description. Uh, but the short and sweet version of it is the developers want to see how quick people can come up with money or like how much money people can come up with at the end of five days when they really put their minds to it. I assume it's for balancing purposes moving forward, but I never like to turn down a challenge and this one seems pretty fun and pretty uh, I'm gonna get this ticking time bomb the hell away from my my corral, I don't need them turning into tars. And fill them up with fruit. Port collector. Shit, I don't have enough yet. Ow! Stop being rude! I just want your portuses. Just give me your portuses! Alright, that's about all I can deal with before they blow me up. Alright, perfect. That is enough for a port collector. Go ahead, purchase that. Give him back that pogo fruit. Uh, mangoes are doing A-OK. -okay. Um, I suppose I should probably do an auto feeder too. Puddle slimes are doing a great job of just hanging out. So now the uh, the machine is in motion, and that's that's good. Let's see, can't really afford either the nutrient soil or the sprinkler yet, and that's fine. Um, let me go ahead. Ow! I'll unload some of these mint mangoes, see if they get hungry. I think they've all pretty much turned into Largos now at this point, so that's gonna be good. I'll go ahead and leave that as it is. Port Collector can take care of the rest. Um, I still want to collect wild plorts while we're out and about. Cause that's that's pretty much free money. Even if it's pink plorts with the market fluctuations, we may get to the point where those are worth a decent amount. Why do I have a honey slime on me? God damn it. That's fine. I'll make a quick trip back to town. Not quite planned, but if I keep this honey slime on me, it's gonna Oh jeez. They are exploding quite a bit. Lots of honey plorts, so that's good. I may have to make another corral. At the rate they're exploding, they might explode right the hell out of there. Alright, so we're up to a little over a grand now, so... That's good, we can upgrade these. Uh, let's see, crops grown always yield maximum. I'm more worried about them growing twice as fast. So we'll do sprinkler on both. More plorts, two more plorts, yeah, perfect. Good, good. So it's definitely gonna be a matter of whether or not I have to split them into more corrals, because it does look like there's a lot <laughs> of uh, explosions happening there. Sorry if I have a few long pauses, I have a little bit of a scratchy throat, I'm trying to refrain from coughing into the microphone. Um, let's see. So back to collecting the wild ingredients. I think next thing we're gonna go for is the backpack upgrade. 
If it's available, then we can carry 30 of each item. That'll let each of our trips be a little bit more productive than they currently are. Um, don't need carrots. Give me those tabby plortzes. Ah, I keep picking up all this garbage that I don't care about. I say callously as Atar is ravaging the local slime community. Alright, let's see what do we have. Chicky chickies, not too worried about that. Rock lords, definitely want those. Rock slime can chill out. All right, perfect. No, don't even look at me, you angry bastards. I'll make a trip through the, what was it, the Mossy Blanket? Is that the official name for it? Make a trip through here, see if I can get some more Puddle Slimes. Otherwise, more mint Mangoes. Maybe some more. Oh, well, no, don't really need more boom slimes. We're pretty much at capacity for our one corral. If we wind up doing another one, that's a different situation, but for now, I think we're doing okay. Get out of here! I want the plorts, not you big bastards. God damn it. Alright, perfect. See if I can suck up the rest of these tabby plorts. Yeah, well, this is your own fault for just plorting all over the place. It's disgusting. And now I'm gonna get out of here. Those are mint mangoes, of which I'll happily partake. And look, I've been over in this area for like five seconds so I'm already making tars. What the F? <laughs> Ooh, excellent more mint mangoes. Pretty sure that douche just ate one of my mint mangoes. I'm not too pleased about that. More mintalo mangoes. I might for the first time <coughs> Ah, excuse me. I might for the first time ever actually have to invest in an auto feeder just to make sure that we keep getting plorts even when we're away from the base. For the sake of maximizing Temunis. And also it'll give me a place to put all these extra mint mangoes. Any puddle slimes? Ah, there's one. Um, what am I gonna give up for it though? I'm not too attached to the pink ports. I think at the end of the day, the one p puddle slime will be worth more than the pink ports that I coughed up. Not seeing any more puddle slimes. Ah. Uh -huh. I think at this point we can probably safely go back. We've got, what, about 15 hours left? Uh oh! They're starting to do exactly what I was afraid they were gonna do. Blowing the roof off with their explosions. Um. First things first, puddle slime down. You go back in there. Ow. Gonna unload these ports before I die to douche or boom slimes. 
And dying would be a terrible thing too because that's going to significantly, significantly cut down on the amount of time I have to maximize my gains because I think whenever you, you faint or whatever it is, you are out for about 12 hours. And that is a lot of time that I could be productive. I don't think a music box causes these guys to explode less, otherwise that would definitely be an investment that I'd look into. And I think they pretty much explode as much as they want, regardless of what you do, um, auto feeder perfect. Alright, so at this point, really all we're looking for are upgrades, possibly a second corral. Um, Jetpack is a definite must. Tank booster is also a definite must. Um, I think power core. Oh, dash boots. Okay, perfect. I think that's all we're really going to need for upgrades. I might get the power core, but other than that, that should be about it. Lots and lots of Teplortzes. Those guys seem to be somewhat under control. It doesn't look like the Plort market is going anywhere just yet, and that's good. I think by picking up Wild Plorts, we're doing a pretty decent job of keeping everything stabilized. Nothing's getting too overly flooded. So now we're at 1640. Um. Power core for sure. Pulse wave I don't really care about. I don't think I've ever actually used the pulse wave to any effect. We may very well wind up having to put to make a different uh, corral for these guys. Because the time I spend <laughs> putting these guys back in place is time I could be out getting more plorts and more food. See, this is why Puddle Slimes are my favorite. They don't cause any trouble. They just chill out in their pool. Yeah, we're definitely going to need to uh, split these up. So let's do another corral over here. I really don't want to do this because it is a huge investment. To get a second corral going. But, I think in the long run, it'll be worth it. I think I'll just put like five in here. I need to find the magic number that I can hold in one corral without overdoing it. I want to say probably about eight or nine would be safe. Four in there. Five. Six. Seven. Looks like they still have plenty of room in there. Eight. Alright, we'll do eight for now. And I think there should be roughly about eight left in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, we'll do nine. Because I think this should be about nine and nine now. So these guys just need an auto feeder. Oh yeah, that's right, I do have a jetpack. Let me uh, do this the smart way then. Oh, that was not the smart way, that was the opposite of the smart way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, it looks like there's probably closer to eleven in there. I'll just have to deal with that for now, there's not a whole lot else I can do. Um, check up on our gardens real quick. Mint mangoes are about ready to fall off. 
Yeah, plenty of time left, which is good. Auto feeders over here, so we'll go ahead and fill that up. Need to get an auto feeder on our second corral, but I can wait for now. These guys should be okay. Um, so we will go off into the wild again. So basically anytime we go out into the wild, we are just looking for whatever miscellaneous plorts might be floating around, whether it be pink plorts, rock plorts, so on and so forth. Because it's basically free money that we get to add to our total. Let's see. Get out of here. And I think the idea is to see how much, like, extra available money you have at the end of the five days. So it's not counting how much money I put into, say, the corrals or, you know, things like that. They basically want to see how much money you have left over at the end of the five days. So every time I put money into, like, a corral or another garden, that's taken away from my total. Which is fine, because you just have to look at it as an investment going forward. That there will be returns on it, which definitely with the gardens there will be. Feeding our, uh, feeding our Largo's Mint Mangoes over Sage's Pogo Fruit doubles our money, so it's definitely worth it. Um, <laughs> speaking of Pogo Fruit, that can go. Oh, I forgot to check this puddle for puddle slimes. Ah, perfect. I don't need water. <laughs> okay, well... Puddle port, as much as I'd like to keep, it's not going to be worth. These rock ports can go because I'm going to swap them out for... Tabby ports. Oh crap, and then I run into more rock ports. Um... Whatever, I'll keep it as it is. Ouch. And then... Gather these extra honey... I need your phosphor plorts. I'm not sure which one's going to be more worth it. Looks like there's more honey plorts floating around than anything. Let's see... A lot of tars around. I'm not gonna mess with that just yet. I think we'll leave that area as it is. Oh no! Oh, I don't have anything to feed this gold slime. God damn it! No! Honey plurs, get out of here! Mint mangoes, geef. <laughs> the mint mango tree is barren. <laughs> It's gonna be gone, the golden slime, no! Oh man, that was gonna be an extra 300. That's what you get for not being prepared. Oh well. Win some, you lose some. Let's see, don't need water, any more puddle slimes. Ooh, mint mangoes. I'm all about the mint mangoes, yo. Ooh. Boomplort. That is actually going to be worth more than the mint mangoes would be.
Okay, well, I guess that just doesn't want to get sucked up, and I don't really have the time to uh, play around with it. So, we will go back with the haul that we have, which isn't great, but it'll work. We did get two Puddle Slimes, so, though, and that's gonna be... Be good, very good. And about five Puddle Plorts. Just the good stuff. So I think at this point is when we're gonna start hoarding money. There's not really a whole lot else left that we need to buy. Um, the only other thing I could think of that I'd really be interested in making is maybe a third garden for growing mint mangoes. But even then, that's not necessary by any means. So we'll load up some more mint mangoes in here, about 12 worth, and then these guys can have some. Um, I lied, I'm going to put an auto feeder on here, and then that is going to be the last, last of our money spending. From here on out, we're going to board all of the new bucks that we get to see where the chips fall on that one. I think ideally, I'd like to see us get at least 10,000 by the end of the fifth day, which we're coming up on pretty rapidly here. I'm gonna go ahead and make another trip out. I'm hoping I can make a quick trip from here all the way through again before we run out of time for this episode. And if you didn't catch the first episode, um, basically what we're doing is going to 12 p.m. on each day because our final our final thing when we're all said and done and uh, it's gonna be 5 p.m. at noon or no it's gonna be noon on the fifth day that's when we're gonna tally up how much money we have how much we were able to get at the end of the five days so our last episode should end just shortly after uh, noon on the fifth day Sorry if that was a little bit jumbled. I was getting hit by rock slimes and I couldn't get my words right. It was a rough time. We got one game hour to get from here back to the base. Pick up goodies along the way. I need through. Uh oh. We're not gonna make it back in time. We got 15 seconds to make it to the teleporter. That's fine. This one can go a little bit late, I suppose. But as soon as we make it back to town, I'm gonna cut it off. It was probably a bad idea to go out with only, like, two game hours left anyway, but what are you going to do? It's for science. Uh, Pogo Fruits can go in exchange for these delicious mint mangoes. Get the fuck out of here! Stop eating my mangoes! Damn slimes. All up in my business. 
Ooh, I see more mangoes over there. Delicious. And no one cares about Utar. I'm getting mint mangoes right now. My priorities are clearly in order. Pick up the boom ports. Grab this box because it usually has money in it. Any boom floors down there? Nope. Okay. Alright, and that is going to wrap up this episode. Thank you all for tuning in. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button. If you want to see more, make sure you subscribe. We've got at least two episodes left, maybe more. We'll see what happens. But that's going to be all for this episode. Thanks for tuning in, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.